Hey guys, James here with Johnson RV in Puyallup, Washington. Thank you for watching the video. We're going to take a look at our 2002 Winnebago Journey. It's a 34 foot diesel pusher with a 330 cap, 860 torque to you. A little bit about Johnson RV, 90% of what we do is used. And we do used on purpose. Everything has low miles, it's gently used. We try to bring it to like new conditions as possible. Um, with that said, let's take a look around. Again, this is the Winnebago Journey. Nice Velvac mirrors here. Big thing about Winnebago is the way they apply these windows right here. These are all done the same way your car would, with urethane to steel. So this whole front cap from that seatbelt forward is all 100% steel, one cage, nothing's to wood, nothing to fiberglass. One of the only manufacturers I know that does that without going to high end, high end. Right thing to it is partial body paint. So this lower skirt you're seeing is actually painted. We also have our automatic quickie step right here. And then right above us is going to be the Oasis manual crank out awning. Now we have an A&E awning here too with that nice metal cover so if you guys are going somewhere hot or dry it's not going to get that fabric brittle or break or anything like that. It's all powered. It's a great piece to have and it has huge storage all the way throughout. So I'm going to open up these pieces. They are all operated with a gas strut so you don't have to do that crab walk underneath them anymore. Nice, have a thick weather steel gasket so they can close and you have huge storage all the way across to them. Go down a little bit. Working our way back, we have access to the refrigerator right here. We also on some Michelin tires to them, plenty of tread. In your nose, these aren't the tin hubcap styles to them. These are nice thick tires to them, 22 and a half inch. Water heater right here. And a little different, this is not the side radiator, which I get a lot of confusion from our videos. This is actually a basement AC, which one of Bay likes to do. It's more like a household style. Two ton Coleman air compressor compressors. Great thing, you don't have that weight on top of your roof anymore. Instead, it's down low. Way better for just drive and comfortability going down the road. Uh, stepping to the back, access ladder here. Again, we're on the 330, it's a Cat C7, 860 torque, um, 10,000 pounds we can tow. Of course, we have the 7,000, oh, seven way, 7,000, seven way connection here. The center lines that, that charge line to you. So you can do anything with electric brakes, tow trailers, what have you. Of course, backup camera in dead center. This is our side radio piece you guys have been looking for. Great thing to have with such a good engine. Um, two slides to it, they're DL model. Uh, both of them are equipped with that slide topper, so no rain, tree branches, anything like that. Debris stays out of it, seems nice and easy for longevity. Kind of a neat piece too, right out here. Notice that these compartments open up and you don't have any fear about doing that again, that crab walk. When your slides are out, sometimes it's tough to get underneath them if it's getting out with something heavy or just the back isn't working that day. A nice thing to have, nice long fishing poles, skis, what have you, real easy to use. Let's head inside and take a look at the layout. Hey guys, so we're inside the 2002 Journey. Um, again, 34 foot, which is the great length if you guys are going to any state parks. We're in the start of the cab area right now. Again, one of the Freeliner, Freeliner chassis. Quick thing I want to point out over here is it does have the Allison transmission. We also have the HWOH hydraulic leveling jacks. So when you get to the camps, that's a little uneasy. Feel free to fill, put all these down. It can lift up almost the entire coach to it. We also have remote heated weirs here. Nice big windshield. Now it does have a two-piece windshield, so the event anything happens to it, you're not replacing a $4,000 windshield. Instead, you're doing less than half of it right there. Uh, great thing here, both these chairs are leather. Um, that ultra leather is not gonna scratch or anything crazy like that, but they spin around and join the living arrangement. We also have our backup camera operator right here, our auxiliary power just to the left of it. Well, CB recording. And again, just looking at the condition of this chair, it looks almost brand new to it. So even though we're a little more than, say, 14 years old, almost brand new right here. Um, the ash piece does have a cover that separates it, so this person can get up in transit. Just behind on the driver's side, we have the Rest Easy Sofa, which is patented by Winnebago. Electrically operated, can make into a queen bed. Once in a queen, it lives all the way lay down flush. These pieces extend out and make into a queen. Real nice and easy, and it's all this nice soft soap. Um, above, it's going to be some cabinetry open up depth is always the big piece to it nice and deep if you look straight up you notice it's almost a crowned roof to it. it's a one-piece fiberglass roof and the reason why it's crowned is just like our roads to help shed water uh, convection oven right here we have our solid surface countertop bread box open this guy up good little cutting board piece to it deep sink with an adjustable head that comes out a lot of cabinets all the way through and straight across from the kitchen to be the dinette. Again, this is made to another sleeping arrangement. This can sleep six comfortably, six adults. Um, I can swap that for a Keurig machine if need be. Adjustable shelves in here. 
just open it up and give you guys a good visualization to it. Um, fridge, both gas and electric, has the automatic setting. Kind of a neat piece too, we have this spice rack shelving that comes right out. And a true pocket door here that separate this whole space. Now right in this zone to give you guys an idea is the command center. This is where you can check <clears throat> generator start and stop, water heater on, power line system, how much our battery or engine batteries are level, black, gray, fresh water, everything you need just in one central spot which is huge. Step back into the bathroom piece, midship, neo angled here, nice big countertop in the bathroom, and then the actual restroom is right straight across, towel hack right here. North south bed, now our separate slide is going to be right over here in this piece. So we have a walk around queen easy enough, outlets by setting kits, you have a sleep app machines or using your cell phone to warm you up, but this is a whole big slide, the depth inside those closets is the biggest piece to it. Any questions on it at this size and this old of a coach, it's, it's a well taken care of. Any questions, call us at 888-833-9766. And if you call, be sure to ask for James.